guys welcome back okay so today i want to play in this black moon cosmetics urban myth palette okay i did pick this up they did drop this very recently and i don't know just the color story the packaging everything is just so so cute and i had to grab it okay you know with the urban myths with the bigfoot and the loch ness monster and it just really looks spooky and creepy but in a cool way you know <laughs> so yeah i went ahead and picked this up they have the mirror in the shape of a spaceship very cute these are the colors in this palette you know i love blues purples greens i'm really curious about their shimmer formula and their matte formula to be honest with you because i have never used anything from black moon cosmetics so very excited to try this out. So let's just go ahead, jump in, do some swatches and create an eyelet. So we have Area 51, Boogeyman, and Bur what is it? Bermuda Triangle. So those are the first three. Then we have Paranormal and Bloody Mary. So those are all the shimmers on the top row. Next we have Mothman, Crop Circles, Loch Ness. Let me go over Loch Ness a little bit more. And last we have Chupacabra and Bigfoot, which is a brown. So this is the whole palette swatched. I will say it seems like the mattes are going to be nicely pigmented on the lid. Just me guessing by the swatches. The shimmers are pretty. They're not blowing me away or anything like that. Um, they look a bit more exciting, I think, in the pan than they do on my arm. So let's just check it out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna prep my lids with my P. Louise base as usual. Okay, so I think I want to start out in my inner corner today using this green shade, which is crop circles. And there is a nice amount of kick up in this pan, so I'm going to see how pigmented this is on this base. Hello. <laughs> okay. So let's just keep that in the inner corner. Okay, very pretty, nicely pigmented. Next, I'm gonna go into the blue, which is Loch Ness. I'm just kinda tapping it next to that green and blending it out a little bit. Blue is really pretty, definitely blendable, buildable. Um, you know, I am just taking my time kind of blending it out and building it up. I would definitely say for the most color payoff with these shadows, if you do want them to be really dark and rich, to just kind of tap the color down and then gently blend. Okay, and of course you guys know I want to play with this purple, which is Chubacabra. So I'm just going to tap this on the outer portion. And kind of create the shape that I want today. Now I'm just going to use a clean brush just to kind of fade out the edge of that purple if I can a little bit. Okay, it looks like that purple is not budging. <laughs> it is where it is, okay? So probably if you use, um, 
you know, a set base, then it will probably blend out a little bit easier. But yeah, not a problem. It's just gonna take a little bit more work for me to blend that out. I'm gonna try a little bit of Mothman, which is the lightest shade in the palette and see if I can use that. I didn't really want that green feel, but it's okay. I just wanna soften up that purple a little bit. Well, I'm not really happy that I wasn't able to just kind of fade that purple out by itself, but some time to be like that so let's play with some shimmers okay I think I want to start out with the purple shimmer which is paranormal so I'm going to start out with that but I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue on my lid um, just see if I can make it pop a little bit more okay I have my glitter glue down so now I'm going to go in with paranormal That's very pretty. It's a little more powdery than I thought it would be picking it up with a brush. So I'm glad that I did go in with some glitter glue first. Okay, I think I wanna use the bright green in my inner corner. So for the outer portion of my lid, I'm gonna go into the red shimmer, which is Bloody Mary. Let's see how that looks next to that purple. Again, going in with a little bit of glitter glue first. And I'm just going to try and, you know, blend those two together as nicely as I can. pretty I like that yeah that's pretty okay so I have these like duochrome glitters very very pretty this one is like blue and purple and this one's like green and orange or something um remember where I got these from <laughs> but if I can remember I'll put it on the screen uh, I think I'm gonna play with the blue and purple one Now you guys using glitter on your eyes can be very dangerous, especially glitter that's as big as this is. Um, but I just want to do something a little different today, so don't play around with it. Okay, so very, very pretty, easy to apply. Use a glitter glue for sure. Um, and when I take this glitter off of my eyes, I'm going to use a piece of tape just to kind of tap on there and pick up the glitter and take it all off before I take off the rest of my eye makeup. So be very safe when using glitter, but it's pretty. I like it, it's different. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my face, put on some lashes, and then we will finish up this look. Okay, you guys, a few days later and I am back. Complexion is done, lashes are on. Um, I did go in with a liner on my lower lash line. I used my Pure Cosmetics On Point pencil. This is actually the pencil I use for my brows, but I wanted a dark liner, just not black. So I went ahead and I used this for my liner. The shade on this pencil is down to earth. I really, really love their pencils. They're kind of pricey. They're like 20 bucks each but I like them so <laughs> I try to get them on sale. Now I want to go ahead and finish up my lower lash line so let's jump back into this palette and I actually want to keep it a little simple but a little smoky so I'm going to go into Bigfoot the brown shade in here and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line a little bit 
do my lips and then I'll give you my thoughts on this palette. There is fallout, so you gotta be careful. Oh, that is very pigmented. And it's kind of like a plum brown shade, it looks like. It doesn't look just like brown brown. It kind of has like a plum feel to it. So I like that. I like it a lot. I think it looks better with this eye look than just a brown. Ooh, she pigmented though. Okay, so that's pretty much the smokiness that I was going for. I really like that really like it a lot okay now I said I was gonna pop that bright green on my inner corner so let me take a little bit of that and that is the shade boogeyman so I'm just gonna take a little bit of boogeyman and try and put that in my inner corner as if I don't have enough going on right now <laughs> and I'm gonna spray it a bit just so I don't get too much fallout and I just want to tap I don't want to move that glitter around too much. See, I actually moved one of them. So I'm going to try to tap. Right in the corner. That's really pretty. It added just that little bit of brightness. I like it. I feel like I have some type of space age situation going on on my lids right now. <laughs> okay, and for lips today, I really want to play with this or try out this new lipstick that I got from Fenty. This is Underdog. So it's one of the really pretty kind of like deep fall shades and I feel like since I have a little bit of red going on, you know, with that dark shade smoking out this look, I want to go with a dark lip. So let's try this and see how this looks, you guys. I'm trying to be as neat as I can. What do we think? My color is pretty. I'm going to let it dry, you guys. Okay, you guys, I really, really like this lipstick color. I think it goes nicely with this eye look. I know it's a bit much, but <laughs> y'all just gotta let me be me, okay? You just gotta let me be me. I don't play with glitter that often, so I had a really good time playing with it with this look. I think it all kind of came together nicely, and it really kind of showcases the colors in this palette, I think. So you guys let me know what you think. Like I said, if you decide to be crazy and use glitter on your eyes like me, be very careful. Don't get it in your eyes. Use a glitter glue and, you know, just be really careful when you're taking it off as well. So, this is the look. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like. And if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to your girl, okay? So this is it for the Urban Myth palette, you guys. I really, really like it. I like how it performed. I didn't really have any issues. I do wish that instead of the lightest shade in here having that green tint to it, I kind of wish maybe it was just like a tan or something so I could use it to easily blend out the other colors without changing the color, you know, like the purple and the blue and stuff. But it's all good. I'm not mad at it. I actually really like how the look turned out. There is a bit of powder, a bit of kick up in the pan a lot, especially with this like dark brown plummy type shade. There was a lot of kick up in the pan. I'm just glad that I was able to dust away the fallout without, you know, having too many issues. So yeah, I like this palette. I think it's pretty. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this video don't forget to hit that like if you like my content go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check me out a little later or watch some of my other videos thank you so much for all of your support you guys i love you guys so much and i will see you on my next video Toodles.